We are the Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea. It's true. Uh, We're from Long Island, so we say, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? We are here in Southampton. At the impeccable Garden City Hotel. We're in the middle of the vines. Yes. This is Memorial Weekend. So there's kick off. We're here. It's summertime. Long Island Wine of the Week. But everyone's stopping for Sonia in your city. I am very happy to have made Newsday's Top 100. (laughs) Brand new supersized episode with celebrity guests. With songwriting, we all go through hard times and bad days. I'm so excited to be, you know, on Long Island. Welcome back to another episode of Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea on living your best Long Island life. I'm Kristen. And I'm Sharon. Sharon. Oh, I was like, Sharon, cannot yeah, hear you no, already. What's up here? Um, and <laughs> second uh, episode of the new year in our wellness January and another incredible... What is our third, third. episode? What? Third episode. Oh my God, I've already blown it. I'm <laughs> like, what day is it? <laughs> Today. Today, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but we have another special guest, Dr. Michelle Reed, one of our favorite favorites the fit doc the one the only dr Reed. the incomparable happy new year happy <laughs> yeah. it's the hot teas too i Aww. know you know dr Reed, you come in here and you're looking like so cute and sassy and with adorable. your blonde you know your new do and your sack your sassy red leather jacket and you just bring the light <laughs> she does like i you just bring the energy the positive energy love it i went I out to welcome them and i'm like ah. Because I need people. it. I need some I positive energy. <laughs> you sure like, do. Well, I'm glad I'm bringing the light and the love <laughs> yeah, to you. I know, you are. So thanks for being with us. We're going to talk uh, wellness and all of your amazing new projects that you have going on, which we're very excited about. Um, but as you know, because you've been on the show before, you are a repeat guest. Mm-hmm. Or maybe is she a, our only repeat guest? You might be our only repeat <laughs> guest so, ever. This Wait, time. it's not a repeat. It's a three-peat. Is it really? Oh, it's yes, a three-peat. Third time. Oh, so you're basically a co-host now. Um, <laughs> so, She's fam. you know, we start every show with how you doing. How you doing. How you doing? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. I love it. Um, so I'm doing good. I don't know why I'm so cranky. It's funny because I was just texting a friend of mine. I'm going to the city immediately following this episode for a meeting. And um, it's just been meeting, 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 crazy. And it's the new year. And it's a bunch of new people in our roles. And um, and I'm in a bunch of new roles, interestingly. I'm yeah. the new. I'm going into this meeting in the city with all of my counterparts around New York State. Mm-hmm. And we're called the NYS DMOs for Destination Marketing Organizations. And I'm the chair this year. Congratulations. Uh, thank you Yay. of the organization, which, you know, it's just like anything. It always looks easier when you're watching somebody else do it. But even just organizing the meeting, I've this been like, meeting. Sharon. I know. Sharon. I know. <laughs> What the heck? Everyone like everyone's like, I can't come on this day now. I'm going to come a day early. Can you extend my room rate to this day and that day? And I'm gluten free, and so I can't eat this on the menu. And I am like, okay, I, I want to add this to the agenda. I'm like, I don't care. One. <laughs> I don't Meeting care. one. <laughs> so and then trying to organize this all in and get to the meeting. So I, it's funny. So my friend was like, maybe we should go to the Islanders game tonight. And I was like, I'm tempted. So I, said, I'm, I would if I wasn't tired and cranky. And he's, yeah. he's like, absolutely not. <laughs> I get to see you. Three times a year, you're yeah. not allowed to be tired and cranky. And I'm like, right, here I go. Aww. So you know what? So I'm going to drink uh, a little Long Island wine and have some tea with my ladies. Yes. And Dr. Reed and I you. And it. we're going to talk wellness. And by the time I'm done with her, I'm going to get on that L I R. And you're going to feel fantastic. In a different mindset. And, and you're probably doing some cartwheels, too, while you're at it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. Let's not get cray, <laughs> Dr. Not Reed. Get cray. <laughs> cartwheels. Uh, when was the last time you did a cartwheel? Oh, my God. You know what? You'd be surprised. I know. Actually, <laughs> I take that back. I can still do it. I can still. You know, that's what did we do. Did you do, like, handsprings, too? I can't do a handspring. Oh and no, gosh. I could never do it. I think there was, like, literally maybe a six-month window I could do a handspring. And that's uh, scary. But I did a cartwheel, like, six months ago. And I felt it for days. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I love it. Because when you have two teenage daughters, yeah. I gotta be like, still bring it. Yeah, I got it. Because yeah, they don't exactly. know. I was just talking about this, Dr. Reed, because uh, mm-hmm. one of our new uh, partners, a partner that renewed with us, is iFly Trapeze. Oh, Lord. And I was telling Michael, I'm like, <laughs> um, Dr. Reed and I did Trapeze. Oh, my gosh. And it Remember was like, that? it was our first uh, LA TV. Yeah. Yes, it was. And I was like, Kenzie was with me. She, she was blown away that we did that, right? I she was like, right. I was like, still got it. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. It was. <laughs> it's scary, though. I could never. I wasn't scared. Oh I was, my I was God. just laughing the entire yeah, time. That's what I'm I like, would do. You were laughing the I whole time. I just exercised and did like six miles, and here she comes right, out. I did a like, marathon. Yeah. 
Ready yeah. for everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had just finished a fit doc run on like a uh, Long Beach boardwalk, and yes. I showed up fresh as a daisy. <laughs> like, what's this? And uh, but no, when you're when you're, it, it looks easy, right? But when right. you're uh, leaning over. And you don't realize how high up you are. I just and they're like and, stomach turned. Yeah, and they're holding the bar. And I kept telling the I kept telling the girl, I was like, No, 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 I can't read I'm gonna as soon as you let go, I'm gonna I'm gonna fall straight on my face. Now you're strapped in, it's all very safe, it's fabulous. Um, but then you're supposed to just jump it and, and run and, and it was fun. Mm-hmm. You were doing like double flips and triple flips. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. I was, was like, She did a ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> it was fun. And it's one of those things that, you know, gets you out of your comfort zone, mm-hmm. which I know you talk a lot about yes. doing. And um and then you finish it and you're like, I didn't know I had that in me. Right. Sharon, you gotta Surpri- do it. I uh. I'm scared of heights, surprisingly yeah. so. Like, I could definitely do, like, roller coasters and things like that. But, like, I don't know. I get all panic attack when I'm up there. And I'm like, oh, my God. What's yeah. This it's, is, no. This it's is high. Sc- but then you do it. <laughs> and you're like, fine. yeah, I'll be there trained for Good. you on the ground. And you're not going to do it again? <laughs> oh, come on, Dr. Reed. That'll be our fourth episode of the LIT yeah. with Dr. Reed. Yeah, we with both, Dr. Reed. We play I Fly. She was funny. She, I told you she texted me, and she's like, why wasn't I invited to the Gurney's one? <gasps> right? She's like, are you kidding? She's like, oh, my goodness. She was like, girl, I, I need a spa day. And I, I need a spa I day. Know. Same. So we need a repeat. I know. Yeah, we do. Um, you know what? We were talking about the other thing. We're like kind of reheating the tea yeah. a little bit. Um, the Aram spa that we mm-hmm. all did together. Oh, yes. yes. And we did that for the Fit Doc show. Oh, my God. It was so, so good. And I need to go back there. Oh, my gosh. Did you see her BBC thing? You said you saw. I haven't seen it yet. It's so... It was amazingly done. You told honestly. me. It's, it's a little Have you like, seen it? I didn't see it yet. Oh, we'll, yeah. to, we'll share the, the link in okay. the notes mm-hmm. for the pod. But um, it was so done well. And her story, she just tells her story and why she does what she does mm-hmm. and how she's the first um, plas- Cor- yeah. Korean plastic mm-hmm. surgeon. Hold on. What is it? First woman plastic surgeon on Long Island. Amazing. Like, and yeah. Also- no, really? She's the head of the plastic surgery, right? She's not the first female plastic surgeon, right? That's what she told us. Is she? Wow. Fact check. Well, fact check. Um, but she's the founder of the first Korean beauty-inspired medical aesthetic spa in the U.S. based on the concept of Gwali. Remember? Yes. She told us all about the Remember Gwali? that, Dr. Reed? Yes, Gwali. Gwali. It's a centuries-old Korean principle of maintaining self-care. It was. She was so amazing and accomplished and go- kind of like Dr. Reed and yeah. gorgeous. And, and she a was, mom. Um, she was a top 50... Uh, she was with for, you. Yeah, with me. It was her so spa fun. is so awesome, and uh, I need. I think, and she does plastic surgery stuff, but she she does like amazing skincare. Skincare. Because yes, we had a, um, all about good routine. facials. Yes. I yes. mean, everybody's skin was glowing, glowing. afterwards. Literally. And then that whole tea ceremony that we did. It was just oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So she has this whole series yeah. on BBC, and. I love it. I think you guys should all tune okay. in. It was really good. I'll, I'll maybe watch it on the train. Uh, yeah, I'll send it to you. No, but it was. We're just like reminiscing that I fly. All these stuff is like coming back. It's funny how the universe works, right? Yes. I flies. You come in today, and then like it's I fly, and it's Aram Spa. All these things that we're talking about, which you've been such a big part of. And now we're going to be going back to Gurney's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Gurney's amazing. On the list, right? And we were um, we were actually at Ohike Castle yesterday. Okay. Uh-huh. With our executive leadership here at the organization, talking about we're basically planning the whole year, mm-hmm. which is probably another reason I'm feeling like a little tsunami. Yeah. You I know mean, what I we mean? We literally you- looked at the budget and the marketing plan, and and then just calculated everything out from mm-hmm. month to month, and like you know halfway through the day we're like okay we're only in june so far you know like it was like so overwhelming but it was really great Mm -hmm. i think that the three of them needed that open dialogue conversation and talk about you know our marketing plan and our and our plans that we have for the organization it's good to you know in the beginning of the year i think set the foundation for the year Mm -hmm. and say okay this is where we're going to go this is this conference this is this what we're this project we're going to do a meeting or a networking thing on this day and so so that you're not overwhelmed mm-hmm. one month or the next. Um, and then also dividing and conquer. Like, you go to that, I'll go to this. You can be there, we'll be here. Yeah. And um, and it's good, but it's also weird to be in January and going like, okay, so then it's November, and then it's December, and it's 2024. And yeah. you're like, and what? It's weird. And it's a weird, right? Got a plan. You do. You have to. You do. Are you doing that? Are you doing a lot? You are doing so many plans, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing so many plans. I'm trying to. Do my self care. That's all, all right. I'm doing. Yeah, okay. your self care. Yes, yeah. my self care, and at the same time, my word. I don't know if you have a word of the year, but my word of the year is stillness. 
Oh. So being still so I can be at peace and then also listen to whatever God's will is for me to do. Mm-hmm. And then also just to slow down the pace because we're always being pulled in so many different directions. So by me being still, that's where my ideas come from. Mm-hmm. And what is my what next? Mm-hmm. Right, right. I heard that on, uh, so you have a new podcast, which we're going to yes. talk about on the show, which is so awesome. The Fit Doc, right? It's called the, Vi- the, the, Fit, the Doc Fit Doc Podcast. podcast yes. It's on Spotify. Spotify, YouTube. Okay, and on YouTube. And because I listened to it on Spotify and um, and I thought it was great. You have different guests every week. Every, no, every other Wednesday. Every other Wednesday, we drop an episode. So our first one for the new year, we talked about weight loss. Yes. And exercise. Why are you looking at me like that when you say weight loss? She's I like, girl. I looked at both of you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she did. She, she was at like, both of us. I'm just weight saying. Loss. I'm just going to look at... Uh-huh. My Long Island tea mug. <laughs> look like, at the camera. And look at the camera. She's like, that's all I'm going to do. She's like, just, and I listened because it was about that. And you know, mm-hmm. one of the biggest takeaways I thought was so great from that um, was, I think there's a question always of how much water yes. do you need to drink? Yes. Mm-hmm. And we all have those big water bottles, mm-hmm. you know, that's like, huh, and everybody loves to boast about their big water bottles. Yes. And it was your expert. I forget who, who the expert. Elizabeth Madison was our nutritionist. And she said that you take your body weight, you divide it by two, and add ounces on the end. So if you're 160 mm-hmm. pounds, divide it by two, that's 80, 80 yeah. ounces of water. And of course, if you're exercising, you drink an extra like 10 to 20 more ounces. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Isn't that great? That is great. And mm-hmm. I thought that was such a cool that's something everybody can remember. Mm-hmm. Remember, it's a good formula. Wait, it's wait, a wait, good wait. You can only remember it if you know your weight, because some people don't want to get on the scale. Right. right. That's I true. was like, yeah. do you like? I didn't your, say it was us. Okay? The weight, like the weight that's on <laughs> your driver's you. license or your actual yes, weight. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the weight that you tell people <laughs> right. that you are. Right. The so how about the out? weight that you tell people that you are, and then you add twenty ounces? <laughs> hey. I think that's probably the same bet. I, I think the, as long as you're drinking water. Yeah. You know, stay How hydrated. much water is in wine, <laughs> Sharon? I'm going to say at know. least 10%. Let's see. I wonder. I don't know. Have a, and, and let's talk, while you're doing that, let's talk our wine of the week because we are indulging. Uh, one of the things we talked about last week, Dr. Reed, is uh, the, the new phrase that's come out this year called damp lifestyle. Mm. Mm. So it's mm-hmm. not going dry January. But it's called damp lifestyle, and it's being like just cognizant. You know, if you drink today, don't drink mm-hmm. late. Like being responsible. Oh, I moderation. Still have mine. I'm doing yeah. moderation. Yeah, moderation. Yes. Okay. yes. So what? Are, what are we drinking? So we are drinking the. Baden She's doing Hollow. damp lifestyle. Okay. <laughs> um, what is this? Rosé wine of 2019. This is a refreshing off-dry rosé with prominent white peach and pear flavors, along with a touch of cherry, followed by a balanced, clean, crisp mouthfeel with citrus notes. It's, it's called like what is it called? Pink silk or something like that. What is it cute? It's cute. It's got a cute name. Pink satin. Twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. It is. It's very yeah. satiny. It tastes like, like you. Good. You're like red yeah. leather and pink satin. <laughs> yeah. She's leather bringing and lace. in the, yeah, we go. Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> leather and lace, Sharon. Hold on. <laughs> no. So um, it's great. I'm gonna cut you both off. Yeah, yeah like, I know. This is down. our first sip, believe it or not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean it's yeah, that that's just the mindset that we're in. Uh, um so New Year. New you or same old you? What is it? New year? <laughs> I wouldn't say new you. It's the revolving you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So, huh. Dr. Reed, tell us what you've got going on. Because for those that don't know, I mean, all of our hot teas, I'm sure know, Dr. Reed is our official health and wellness ambassador to Discover Long Island, as well as we're she's always on our videos, the Fit Doc Friday, we have Wellness Wednesdays, and you've been doing so much great content for us. You also do stuff for the Long Island Nets. Um, and like school districts and you own two practices that you run like actual mm. medical practices. I mean, and your mom and a wife and a wife and now and I'm a friend sort of in that caregiving mode because I have elderly parents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So trying to take care of them and yes. not neglecting myself in the whole process. So I'm, I'm, I'm finding out a lot of my friends are also in that same predicament too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at the same time, it is a blessing to be able to be around and to take care of them because they help to raise us. So I'm doing the best that I can with that. But mm-hmm. yes, you, you might, might as well be my PR person. You just yeah, said it all. Like, like, what all the the I'm, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan, obviously. But uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, you have a new podcast out yourself and I, we were listening to it and it's I great. It. Yeah. Are you having fun with it? Oh, I am. I'm definitely having fun. And this was an opportunity for people to hear me 
as opposed to coming into the office because right. not everybody is my patient so that's also continuing to expand our reach um, one of the things that I do like is the partnership that we have with the Long Island Nets which is the G League basketball team is that we can now do health seminars with them wow. and um, we recently taped one where we talked about clinical research with Johnson & Johnson and the other one was we talked about your gut health mm. because I see patients coming in they're stressed they're having diarrhea they're constipated and they don't realize whatever is going on in their mind is affecting their stomach wow so that was one of the things that we talked about and everyone who attended was able to follow up and see a game right after the seminar oh, oh that's, that's awesome. cool that's that a good so idea cool. have yes. some fun afterwards yes yeah. so we have a couple more that we have planned for um february and march okay. i'm not going to reveal the topic because you know it's going to be whatever people need to hear yeah. for the moment that's and if, awesome. and how do they um just real quick how do people follow you to, to follow your schedule and everything all right. The and, best way yeah. to follow me is on social media, Instagram, um, Twitter, Facebook, and it's Fit Doc Michelle Reed. Michelle and one L. Michelle with That's one. Important. <laughs> yes. Reed with two yes. E's. Mm -hmm. Okay, it. I love it. Okay, good. Well, you have some great tips, and I think what sets you apart is um, a. I just again, you have such positive energy. You really bring realistic tips with positive energy, but you're also a real medical doctor, you know, and I think and that I think that's what it is, you know, like a lot of people don't feel comfortable talking to their doctor or anything, <laughs> but you are so humble and sweet and kind and you listen, you know, I think you take everything in. I think that's what's important about Dr. Fit Doc Michelle Reed is that you, you're kind of set apart from other doctors, I would say. I, I was going to tell you, I wrote down, this is not necessarily my word of the year. <laughs> <laughs> this is just hilarious. Just because it's like this is so opposite of you. It's I, but I did see the Oxford word of the year. Um, this is like last year. It was called Goblin Mode. Goblin Mode, and it mm. means unapologetic behavior. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, you're going Goblin Mode. Interesting. <laughs> I'm like, I kind of feel like I'm more your stillness, and I'm Goblin Mode. Well, yeah. <laughs> But you know what? But it's still tied to each other because once you reach a certain weight, age, I mean, there are people now who are in their 40s and 50s. They're like, you know what? I have removed my filter. I am going to tell people yes. exactly how I feel. Yes. And that goes right along with it. Mm -hmm. You're not being rude, mm -hmm. but you're also setting your boundaries. So letting people know what they can say and what not to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, like. That's I'll, like New Yorkers. I'll, no, but you know, <laughs> but you'll, but I'll tell you, like patients will walk into a room and they'll see me sitting there. Oh, you change your hair. Why'd you tear your hair to blonde? Oh my gosh, you cut your hair. Yeah, like, everybody has something to yes. say. Yes, mm -hmm. and instead of saying, hello, Dr. Reed, happy yeah. new year. Oh, you look great. Yeah. Or don't even talk about me. Like, oh, your nice sneakers you have right. on. Oh, perfect colors. Like, let's get away from the negativity exactly. and let's focus on what's positive. Yeah, I, I think that's so it. important. I, dealing with the general public. Oh gosh. I can't. I know, <laughs> but you know, you that's have our no job. Other choice. But, like, we have no other choice. <laughs> Uh, it's forget. true. You forget. I, mean, I waited tables through college, you know, and uh, at, at Outback Steakhouse. Still love it to this day. Um, but I'll, the, I remember, like, I had my degree and everything, and I would still work on Saturday nights mm -hmm. because you'd make like you know hundred bucks, and I was yeah. poor. Yeah. And and then I was at one point, and then I was just like, why? I can't believe I'm having to put up with this. Still, so. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. who are you? Why are you yelling at me? Yeah. Also, just because I am serving you a steak, why do I have to sing Happy Birthday to you? I'm not a singer. This is not Ed DeBevix, okay? Oh, wait, how long did you last Come at that on. job for, Kristen? I know, it was not good. Yeah, I was there for too long, obviously, uh, Dr. Reed. Uh, <laughs> two days. I paid, yeah. no, I, paid my, I paid my way through college. Uh, I, I worked my way through college. You know, I, I, I didn't have, like, a, a parents that could do that, so mm -hmm. I had to pay for it myself, so I had to work. And I made good money, and I still love Outback Steakhouse. But, um, but man, dealing with the general public sometimes and the things that people say to each other, oh, yeah. to your point. I mean, and that was back in the '90s or whatever, you know. <clears throat> but um, but now it's like it is. It's so important to think about what you say mm -hmm. before you say it and mm -hmm. how it might come across. Mm -hmm. I think my word of the year is pause. That's like stillness. Yeah, mm -hmm. to to pause and just to think about. You know, I read something today and it was like talking about that and like you're up all night with insomnia and what is driving that mentality? Just pause and think about it and mm -hmm. think how can you change it mm -hmm. you know for yourself Dr. Like, Reed, how can you change that well just take a moment and just think about what is going on that is causing you to have the problem sleeping because right. more than likely you're probably laying in bed thinking about something stressful which could be your finances which could be your job which mm -hmm. could be your relationship with your spouse or your children 
And when you put things in proper perspective, like this is only temporary. This is mm -hmm. not forever. This is just right now. And one of the things that I've learned to do is not really to see them as challenges, but also see them as blessings. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many people, even if we think about what's happened with COVID, who are no longer around. Right. Mm -hmm. And people who had COVID who've died, people who had heart attacks or strokes and died during COVID and their family wasn't able to be there with them when they were going through it because mm -hmm. of COVID. So just making sure that you're thinking about what you're saying, why you're saying it, why you're feeling a certain way, and then also recognize like, what can I do to make myself feel better? Right. Mm -hmm. How so can for I me, yeah. if I had gone to Gurney's, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <laughs> That's the third yeah. time I said that. <laughs> <laughs> She's but, like, you know, but I realize that water it has a, a beautiful mm -hmm. connection for me. And when Calming. I'm by the water, it calms yeah. me down. It clears my thoughts out. Yeah. Um, and that's probably why all I drink is water and wine, right? Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Sometimes coffee. I don't know. Well, there, no we were coffee. saying. No coffee. No caffeine for you. Mm -mm. There's that huh. study that says just being near the water mm -hmm. um, yes. is soothing and, and, and can calm your nerves, which is, it's great. I mean, and we're so lucky to live on Long Island because yes. we're always within just a few minutes of water, basically, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in any direction, you know, 20 miles maximum, north to south. Um, and so it's it's great because every now and then I'll do that. I'll just, if I can't, if I don't have time to walk to the beach, you mm -hmm. just drive to the beach for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go over just the Just stare at it. Yep. Every now and then there's just, you'll be, you know, you'll see a nice sunset on the horizon and I'm like, oh, let's go to the beach real yes. quick. See the sunset. Sunset chase, <laughs> absolutely. Sunset chase, yeah. is, that, is yeah. that like the thing? Yeah. That's, I love it and you can tell because everybody like is in the parking lot in the dead of winter. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, bye. Yeah. That's true. It's did so you true. see the sunset the other day? Oh my God, I the think sky was I did on fire. It. I took Tegan, yeah, was it Monday? Is I think it, it was Sunday or Sunday Monday. Or Monday? Monday. One yeah. of yeah. those days. It was beautiful. beautiful. Gorgeous. Did a I, sunset chase. I feel like it is like a winter thing on Long Island, though. It is the, like sunsets? the sunsets are gorgeous, and I mean, any time of year. It's but, beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we did that. I grabbed Tegan, and we we drove to the beach real quick and just Aww. watched the sunset and took yeah. pictures. And then I'm like, "Do you want to get out?" And she's like, "No, oh my god, I know every single person in this parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> they all go to my school. Uh, Don't embarrass me. It's so funny. Don't get out. It's so funny." <laughs> and I'm like, "I know." Yeah. I was like, and I'm like, "Be real." She's like, "Oh my god, stop it." <laughs> I, know. I know right how are you doing by the way because you got the kiddo your son in college how are you ha how are you handling I'm fine. it i have to do my little ceremonial tears because he left on monday and we were doing uh. the taping so we're like you got to take an uber oh <laughs> see that's good though yeah. yeah 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 so i mean i'm doing well he did quite well academically good. Good. and um now we're trying to get marcus out of the house so he's in the process of applying oh good. you've got the second one right behind it yeah so we yes. have thomas's kids right behind too and then i don't know if it was after we went to your house mm -hmm. Scott is talking about getting a dog. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And, uh -oh. and I was like, there were going to be no more live animals yes. in the house. I swear. Nothing yes. live well, besides our the two of us. Yes. yes. No, you should definitely. Scott, I'm team Scott. Get a dog. See, I'm team Dr. Reed because, like, you can just get up and go. You don't have That's to worry right. about anybody no. watching the dog so and feeding yeah. the dog. And, uh. So they, they had a good time with our little pupsters. That's so cute. And, uh, but we have two, you know, and they're a lot. Mm -hmm. And you're right. They're a, a challenge. But Thomas will be, every now and then, I'll be, like, in a bad mood. I'll be like, what can I get you? You want a puppy? What do you want? I'm like, I'm like no. No more dogs. Oh, my God. No, I, no give, I give you six months. After Marcus leaves, you're going to get a well, puppy. But Marcus is allergic to dogs oh, and cats. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's going to be gone. <laughs> right? <laughs> you got to live for you now. It's your oh chapter. Oh, my God. You that's and, so funny. You and Scott. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you let me, if you want, you know what you can do? You can watch my dogs while we go on vacation and test it out. He's like, okay, okay. <laughs> he's like, I'm on Good. It. <laughs> I'm looking for a dog watcher. So good. Okay, perfect. Um, so what else is new? Uh, we've got some, you had some, you came to us with some wellness tips, too. You had some. Yeah, we have some here from yeah. Miss uh, Dr. Reed with physical versus wellness exam. Yeah, what does that mean? Well, so what happens now is anyone Because who, I'm going for a physical on Friday. <laughs> and I saw this today and I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, most people don't go for their physical exam. I think only right. one in five people actually show up for their physical exam. And a physical exam is where you get examined from head to toe, and we talk about whatever things you need to do that are age appropriate. So if you're 40, 
you know, you mm-hmm. should have your breast examined. Mm-hmm. You should go for breast imaging. If you're 45, you should be going for your colonoscopy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're 45 to 50 as a male, you should be getting your prostate checked. Mm-hmm. So all of those things are what we talk about. And if you're in your 20s, if you're sexually active, are you using protection? Do you want to have a child right now? So do you have you done any risky behavior and one of the things that we're talking about with everybody is the use of marijuana Mm, um opioids and of course alcohol use Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so on your as your physical we go through all of those things we do your blood work Uh, there's over 80 million people out there who are pre-diabetics which eventually can lead to diabetes if you don't change your habits we check your cholesterol look at your urine um, as you get older, sometimes might, people might have to wear glasses. Mm-hmm. So why'd you point at my glasses? Because they're sitting. I feel like that was a problem. <laughs> She's like, girl. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, like, no, but like, but what? So that's the physical, and I'm one of those one in five. Like, I never. You never got. No, a doctor reads my doctor, and so I'll go. Like I, we did tele. So you can do telemedicine now, and right, Doctor Reed does right. great telemedicine, and and so I did a telephysical, and she was like walking through me, and I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, girl, have you never? done this before i'm like i don't know what you're saying no <laughs> i'm like i don't have a fever so i don't even know why i'm talking to a doctor right now oh it's like, <laughs> you know, it's true like, but my goodness i know, I know. i'm like, like, one, you of sound like one of the patients i had today and i'm like doing and checking her reflexes she's like oh my gosh it really works no one ever did that on me oh before. my gosh that's funny <laughs> yeah. so but yeah people don't get touched by their doctors so yeah. it's very important yes. that we listen to your heart listen to your lungs check your eyes look in your mouth you know mm-hmm. things like that mm-hmm. and then what's a wellness exam so Medicare now has a annual wellness exam or annual wellness visit. The physical exam is not concluded in that, but it's more so, okay, you have hypertension. Have you seen the cardiologist? Mm-hmm. What was the last time that you saw them? What was the follow-up? Um, are you taking your medicine like you're supposed to? Did you go for your colonoscopies? So it's making sure that everything is being done and documented, and that's your annual wellness visit, and you're entitled to one a year. Ooh. And the beauty of it is it can be done via telemedicine. Right. So that's how we're seeing a lot of our elderly patients. And I like to have like a relative with them, and I'll say, okay, I want you to stand up. And you know, Sometimes you'll see them walking and trying mm-hmm. to like get up a little bit. All right, I'm going to refer you to see the physical therapist. Matter oh. of fact, we can even have them come into your house. So it gives us a, a nice little bird's eye view of what it's like and what's going on in their house. Wow. That's so awesome. That's your yeah. physical versus your annual wellness and, exam. And I bet you the majority of people had no idea that you could even, that that was even covered, mm-hmm. an annual wellness. I'd never heard, yeah, Michael didn't know. We did, I've never heard that. Did you know that? No. I mean, that's awesome because, you know, wellness I remember when we um, were asking you to be like our health advisor, Mm -hmm. medical advice, whatever it was. And it was at the height of the pandemic and you were a medical doctor and and it was your idea to say health and wellness ambassador. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. you, you incorporated that word wellness, which at the time, was probably the last thing on people's mind because people were just trying to like not get COVID and live through it if they did. Yes. Um, and but now it's like the number one thing people are are, are worried number about one. and care and it and it encompasses so much. Okay. Because right. Yes. And then, you know and the thing that we're seeing a lot is mental health. So yeah, exactly. One of the first things that we do is a depression screen on people just to see how your sleeping is. How are you interacting? If somebody says, "Oh, come on, let's go to the spa," like, are you willing to do things? Go to Gurney's. <laughs> you said it that time. <laughs> <laughs> or Aram. Yeah, or Aram. But it's also. Oh, what are the giveaway? Oh, yeah. Michael wants us to use this the fourth time we've mentioned Gurney's to, <laughs> okay. to remind everybody that we have a social media giveaway still going on. We're going to do the drawing. Did you enter? Oh, can I enter? You yes, can enter. You can You're enter. not an employee. How many times can you enter? A lot. As many times as you as, want. And we're not going to do the drawing until January 31st, but. Get this, we have a bunch of imposter accounts. Right. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. They're not they throw they're not a little hacked. like dot com or yeah, so they're not they're changing they're not, our name. We said hackers, but they're not hackers. They just like mirror they just like mimic our account and would change the wording a little bit. Mm-hmm. And they're act you know, and then they'll say like, Oh, you won this giveaway, but uh, you just need to give us your credit card for one dollar fee. We're like, No. And then they're charging six dollars. and I are never yeah. gonna ask you for a dollar. No. Wow. Okay. So and we'll, we will reach out. You yeah. Will and, see, and we you, won't ask you for any money. We won't friend request you. You're already that's our, weird. our fan. Yeah, that's you know? weird. So that's We're not going to friend request you, so don't follow those weird people. It's it's at Long Island Tea Podcast, all spelled out, no periods, nothing. So make sure that you're not getting duped by these accounts. Because, you know, people are just out there, mm-hmm. you know, it's looking crazy. to take advantage. But, so, mental health is so important, yes. right? And I think that it is a... 
you know, for a while it was like a buzzword and it was kind of new, but now it's really, it's so it's, rampant. I think it's more, more than anything. I think you know, so too. It's everywhere you go. It's, I th- there was like a stat that we had uh, last, a couple episodes ago. It was like one in four are suffering from so, it. So, so Dr. Reed, what do you tell people that, you know, people get a depression screen. So what do you do if, if people aren't sleeping well or they're having a hard time because people are just so tired and it's kind of, it's that post holidays, right? It's kind of like that dark time of the year before holidays are over. What are you looking forward to kind of thing? What do you tell people? So with a depression screen, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are depressed because there's a level of, of depression, but it could be that maybe you just might have been having problems sleeping over the last two weeks. And like I said, it's having a conversation to figure out what is going on in your household, in your work environment, mm-hmm. at your, in your body. Yeah. And a lot of times, like, we might be having chest pain and we, or palpitations where mm-hmm. your heart is giving a beat. And you might be like, oh my gosh, I'm having a heart attack. I might be having a stroke. But it could also be stress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And stress can cause palpitation. Thyroid disease can cause palpitation. But it's looking at everything as a whole as to what is going on and say, okay, is this something that has just been going on for a couple of weeks? Has this been something that's been going on for a couple of months? Or has this been something that's been going on for years? And if it's anything that's been more than like six months to a year, it's probably like depression and it needs to be further evaluated, possibly treated with medication and also seeing a therapist to talk through whatever is going on mm-hmm. with you. How do you, mm-hmm. I'm sorry to interrupt, mm-hmm. but I think one of the things that there are a lot of people in the world that not ignore, but push aside, you mm-hmm. know, I mean, th- they have something going on like that. Or they might think they're pushing through. They're, exactly. And yeah, they're, and but they're, they're really just, not. They're right. pushing it aside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's sort of like a coping mechanism that we have. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's not really a coping mechanism because you're not dealing with whatever the issue is. Right. Um, I remember when um, I was working right out of residency, I knew during residency that I wanted to have a practice. So worked on my business plan. Um, I took the job and I was working in an underserved area, opened up a practice, was working the practice part time, was working my job full time. And there were just different things that just kept coming up at the job. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So when I spoke to administration, they're like, well, we really don't see you working here long. We see you in private practice. I'm like, okay, great. (laughs) Fantastic. So I was, but Scott will tell you, like, every day I was singing a song, like, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go to work. And I don't want to go to work. And then finally, I think it was like a Veterans Day. And he's like, well, don't go to work. Mm -hmm. He's like, just turning your resignation. I'm like, great. Can you type up my letter for me? (laughs) Oh, that's cute. (laughs) But it's realizing when you've got to a point that you are fed up and you want to seek help. So my help was just to, you know what, finally just go into my practice full time. Right. But for some people, it might be, you know what, let me look for another job or let me look for another job within this job Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and realize that there's help out there. And all because you see a therapist doesn't mean that you have anxiety or you have full blown depression. You could be going through what we call an adjustment disorder, something that happened, like a death of somebody, or maybe just how you feel about your job. And that could be the key for you to go to a therapist who might even do like more like life coaching mm-hmm. to figure out life what coach. is your, nef- your your next place to land. Sharon's I- making fun of me because um, <laughs> we were listening to something in the car and I was like, I should be a life coach. And I she's said, like, you should be a life yeah, coach. Yeah, she's like, she's like, you should be a life coach. And I was like, so here's a funny story. Mm-hmm. Uh, years and years ago, um, when I was married to my first husband, I was like, life coaching had just come out. And mm-hmm. I was like, I should be a life coach. I'm like, because, you know, I could be like the female Dr. Phil. Mm-hmm. I just tell you straight up how it is. And he was like, uh, no, you should not do that because you're going to totally make people cry on a regular basis. Oh and I was like, but Dr. Phil does it. Right. I'm like, I'd be like, listen, you got to get it together. Yeah. Like, go do Pull something with your time or something. You know, some people need that. I'm but, like, some people need it. But you know, it's a little bit more than that. No, it's, I know. It's, it's giving them the tools right. as to what they yeah. should do. Mm-hmm. Wow, you like drawing. So let's focus on your drawing. That piece of art that you did, is that something that you could sell to somebody? Or is it something you can create and start to market? Or could you start to market for other companies? So mm-hmm. it's like giving them ideas. Yeah, not just yell, not just telling them that they're going to get over it. And making them cry. <laughs> okay, but so funny story about Dr. Phil, though. Just total sidebar off the, off the weird. <laughs> off Have the you rails. seen, so I was listening to Howard Stern mm-hmm. um, a few weeks ago. 
and they were talking about Dr. Phil and a couple of other people. I noticed Drew Barrymore was doing it. So they they're like hawking these uh, these new apps, these like games. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost like bingo bingo app, and it's free. So, but Dr. Phil, I swear to God, this is not a joke. You can listen to it. He's doing it almost like as part of a show. Mm. What? And people will come on and be like, um, so we're going to do a little, it's like a commercial, but the, the two sisters, and she's like, I don't know, I'm feeling stressed. And the other sister's like, you know what I do when I'm feeling stressed is I play this bingo no. game. No. And he's like, yeah, the bingo game is so great for you. It's a good stress reliever. And I'm like, how is this possible? Right. How is, it's, it's, I'm not even joking. So what is he, like, he's sponsored like weaving by this it or something? In, he's weaving huh. it into his show uh-huh. and not saying it's a commercial. Oh, wow. I'm like, medically, I don't know if that's, is that legal? I is don't that know. True? And the other thing he was doing, which was super annoying, mm. is he was like, "Oh, you know what? Uh, thank you for sharing your story with me. Uh, something that could really help is some uh, self care, some body treatments. And uh, my wife has <laughs> oh some amazing my products. God. <laughs> and let me tell you the names of these. Pro- and he's like selling his wife's products to this one on his show. Oh, I'm wow. like, Ugh. I don't that know about me, that, that Dr. Phil. Me, that gives me an idea incentive. for my... Ah! <laughs> you should just like, you link should. up with a bingo game because I have whatever they're doing, they're probably paying a zillion dollars. And Drew Barrymore was doing it Drew too? Drew Barrymore is doing actual commercials. Okay, okay, She's okay. not doing it as like part of her show, right. weaving it in, pretending like right. it's real content. But I've seen her on these commercials, like it's this funny. bingo app. And I'm like, huh. well, how much of those people... We need... Alyssa, call the bingo people and How see if they can that? sponsor, sponsor us. LA, Long Island Tea <laughs> Podcast. Know. We'll just weave it in. We're like, Sharon, you know, I did something really awesome. I played bingo on my phone. And you you'll be like, who are you? Stress today? <laughs> no, no. I, but course, that's yeah. good, though. That helps with Alzheimer's because you're keeping your mind active. See? Oh. They should sponsor Dr. Reed's podcast, too, because yes. mm-hmm. you can work You can work it in. That's right. right? <laughs> Stimulating the brain. you got to remember letters, numbers. Yeah, you have to definitely. pay attention so you can't be yeah. you know, wandering all over the place. And that's probably true, but I think it goes to a bigger picture like who right now people that have men- mental health you know i have a lot of teenagers the teenage the teens are going through it right mm-hmm. you have teenagers mm-hmm. it's been really really hard on the young people mm-hmm. of our gener- of our of our generation of our families and um there's there's you can't even go to therapist you can't get them they're right. booked up and so what are some you know other tools that people can do if they're if they can't get into a therapist or they don't have the right health care insurance you know like sharon and i we share tiktoks Right, that's our or therapy. Or go on a walk. You can follow right. Dr. Reed on Instagram and go on one of your walks. Mm-hmm. Like, what other things? You know, I did see something earlier last week, and I can't remember the name of the agency, but there is an agency on Long Island that has a location, I think, in Levittown and Valley Stream, mm-hmm. where they will actually help you to get therapy. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. And we have family therapy. And I'll get back our, to you the name of it. But it yeah. was like, they have availability for counselors. They have availability. That's good. But yeah, because I've seen commercials mm-hmm. about that. Yes. Like they, there's, yeah. And we have, a we have a partner that came on with us about our podcast, Family Therapy, Suffolk. Suffolk Family Therapy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we, we actually Suffolk have people therapy. joining us, too, to say, mm-hmm. let people know about right. us. Mm-hmm. And there right. are, that's a good point. There are resources. Mm-hmm. There you just are. have to find them. Yes. But there, there are, are. Res- resources. But there are probably other things you could do, too, just to, like, like you're saying, stillness and pause. And, and journaling. Okay. Just writing down so how your people. thoughts are. Um, and at the same time, having conversations, because a lot of times when you're feeling down or anxious, you don't want to talk to anyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes as you're talking through whatever you're going through, you start to feel better. Right. Or you can say, Bring well, you know what, I universe. can relate to like yeah. whatever you have. Like I had that going on. And I think that really helps because that's the one thing that we're seeing in our teens is that they don't really communicate. Right. That's, it's so Because you remember like when we were in school, we had like recess and yeah. during class we could sit and talk. They're not doing that. Right. Mm-hmm. Every minute is learning so so funny um two things about that so we were talking about movies last Mm -hmm. week and it was so funny because on like amc or whatever over the weekend or over the holiday weekend they had the breakfast club on yes i was like sharon you gotta rewatch this it is not good and then i mean it was the tv version which is the only reason that i like his tv was watching it (laughs) Mm -hmm. and then um after that right after came on fast times at ridgemont (gasps) high oh my god and again wait what did the kids say about that so t it was only tegan at home but she was watching it um and again i think the only reason it was not like wildly embarrassing or inappropriate is because it was the tv version Mm -hmm. because that it covers some hefty stuff fast times at ridgemont yeah Yeah. but it's so funny because it was all about the mall and they're working at the mall and and so I, i told her i'm like 
like Tegan, before social media, this is what kids did. Everybody oh, just yeah. went, went to, to the, the mall, mall and mm-hmm. hung out at the mall the whole time because you had to talk to each other. And she goes, honestly, it seems like a vibe. <laughs> And I'm like, you know what? It totally was. Uh, it was awesome. Uh-huh. It was awesome. And it you was. had to like learn things as you experience them. You didn't yeah. just get to watch them through right. other people or lenses. There was no YouTube. Version. There was no YouTube. Exactly. There or was TikTok. no none of that. It was experience. Absolutely. And, and sometimes that was not good. If you watch no. Fast Times, yeah. there was one high. You're like, mm. yeah. And so it was funny because then there was one scene where the, they're, you know, the girls like. 15 in the right. show I was giving me super agita I was like Shh. and she's like oh my parents are out of town come over and the boys were at her house and I'm like sorry honey that will never happen to you we have the ring right I get Everything a notice is, uh, if I'm not there I'm like um, I'm immediately on the speaker who is that right I'm <laughs> who's at my you? door <laughs> there's no privacy for you this is never gonna happen to you and she's right. like I know I never get I'm like sorry yeah also the life we live yeah exactly sorry not sorry um, but I saw this thing on the Today Show today that so first you know the young kids um it was and i'm talking to jacinta and michael here too um it was polaroids right polaroids yeah. came back and then like last year it was digital cameras yeah tegan paid a hundred something dollars for this digital camera i'm like girl i threw away like three of those right i have a box of them now today they're saying hmm. flip phones no Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Michael right. saying yes. Like I'm like, do you know how I had the razor? Yes, mm-hmm. the hot pink razor. Threw it in the garbage. Yes. <laughs> wow. And oh now my I'm god, sure. that was so awesome. The, remember how cool the razor the, was? Yeah, it was. I had like the hot pink one. Yeah. Yes. And it fit right in your back pocket. <gasps> it was perfectly. so sexy. Yeah. And, and like, remember yeah. texting with those numbers? Like, I had a BlackBerry. I had a BlackBerry too. I love too. BlackBerry. <laughs> BlackBerry was like my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember like, beepers? <laughs> like. Oh, Pager. Pager. Mm-hmm. Yes. Page May. I oh, never had an Nextel because I was like, oh, that's just so obnoxious. Oh, I had them. They're on the BlackBerry. The BlackBerry had the built-in Nextel. Or the, I guess the flip phone. It was like the, the flip BBMs. phones are back. And you know what? I'm here for it. Because get get off your phone, right? I miss the days sometimes. Well, the flip phones now are different. They're not like oh, they're one. Totally they were different. Uh, no. They're like little us. mini computers. Yeah, they, it's like your iPhone that folds in half, but it's yeah. not. No, but iPhone. I think no, no, no. They were like old school flip phones. No way, right, Michael? It's crazy. They want the quality of what the camera used to be. So yeah, vintage. Yeah, they oh, like the old. Funny. They like the old. Yeah, like the digital cameras. That's they're like funny. It's vintage. Disposable. The disposable, the disposable cameras. Oh my Everything god! Everything old, like like oh, wow. taken for um, Christmas. She got a record player. Aww. Yeah, that's that's yeah. huge. That's been and we're going listening on for to Taylor Swift on records, on and it, vinyl, it sounds yeah. so grainy. Yeah. I'm like, girl, just put it on the speaker. It's gonna sound much so much better. Just say, hey Google. Yeah, and she's like, no, it's it's cool. It is cool. It's yeah. a vibe. It is it's a vibe. vibe. It is. So yeah, I think there's so much pressure these days for the kids, you know, and 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 you're right. They don't know how to communicate. They don't. Mm-hmm. You had to go to the mall and find the person you wanted to talk to, yeah, and then get the courage to, to ask talk them to them, their, mm-hmm. and then to ask them for their phone number, <gasps> their house, and then phone number. their house, and then talk to their parents, <laughs> and then talk to their parents. There was a time where your parents would talk to your friends and be like, you would find out so. They Who's would this? find out so much. Be like, hey, Tommy. What was Sharon doing last night at uh, on the corner <laughs> or whatever? Uh-oh. And then like, was she really there? Yeah, you know, or like, listen on the other line. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, mm-hmm. remember yeah, that? Funny. Remember that? So and yeah. then you hear the click. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I the mute button and I'd my sister. Oh my god, that's, ah, so, that's funny. so funny. <laughs> I never forget my 16th uh, birthday. All I wanted was my own phone line. Own phone line. I was just going to say my sisters had their own phone line and I would give all the boys their number. I got on there. I got my own phone line and my last four digits were 1991 cuz that was our graduating year. Oh, oh wow. And um, then the coolest part was the answering machine and the <sighs> amount of production that yes. went into leaving to, like, my voicemail. <laughs> I was like, the posse is at Kristen's. <laughs> and then you had to like, play the <laughs> song and <laughs> recording. It was crazy. You <laughs> like, we put on like a full rap show production. I love it. Our, I love it was it. crazy. But that was fun. <laughs> Back in the day, things were different. Yeah, and were the, sure. the worst part is when you come, we do all that work and you come home and you're like, beep, no messages. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Oh, that was calm. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like today's version of likes. Yes. Right. On yes, your Instagram, you so put it out true. there, you don't get likes, you're like, mm. so the kids will take it down and repost it. Like, I didn't get enough likes. So they delete the post? Yeah. That's and so then, funny. Right? Yeah. And the they pressure. figure out when to put it back up and like more people will see it. Wow. 
It's crazy. It's it so much crazy. It I know. works. I feel so, so grateful so that. It's so do you wait? It's do you toxic. hear this this That's new so um, commercial on the radio where it's like, have you, have you um, been experienced with Instagram ad- addiction? Oh, here we Call go. Call this lawyer. Blah, Call, blah, blah. Yep. Yeah. Call 444. Oh, four, four, my four. goodness. <laughs> but no, have you heard that? No, but I'm here I for it. I haven't heard it either. It's oh coming. It's God, coming. It's crazy. It's coming. Uh, yeah. Instagram addiction. Yeah. I know. I know. But you know what? It's uh, it's life, and life is filled with trials and tribulations. And um, I, I had this TikTok of uh, Tony Robbins, like, and he was talking about he's like a you know he's a motivational speaker uh-huh. or whatever and he was really he was saying like happiness is a choice and i think that's kind of what you're saying you mm-hmm. wake up with gratitude or whatever and he said happiness is a choice look you know we're all going to go through you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow it could mm-hmm. be a diagnosis it could be an accident it could be a house fire anything he's like i'm not wishing that on anyone but it could happen and mm-hmm. if it happens you know it happens to somebody right every mm-hmm. 13 right. seconds so you have to just live for today be happy be happy that we're here today like you were saying mm-hmm. a lot of people aren't mm-hmm. and um and remember uh, did you see that tiktok i sent you about gratitude yes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> dr reed i sent you this take it's an amy schumer mm-hmm. um sketch oh my god. and it's her and her friends and they're sitting around and they're drinking wine they're like i'm just living with gratitude now gratitude i don't do congratulations anything. yeah they're like no i would never do anything to my face <sighs> because you know i'm just about grace and gratitude they, I mean, the only thing I did was the calf implants and they were like right and those look great and they're like yeah and all I did was like the cool sculpting where I freeze my fat and put it there but other than that I'm just gratitude gratitude uh, <laughs> you know and you're like everybody had enhancements around the whole thing I was like sharing wow. but it took a while to get to it everyone's oh like no God. I'm just like grace gratitude oh, so and they're funny. like everything they're doing to like enhance their lives (laughs) right but we gotta look good we gotta feel good self-care self-care for some people is doing their hair or doing Mm -hmm. their makeup or and feeling good you know looking good sometimes make you feel good yeah definitely and then that opens up all the different possibilities of what you were placed on this earth to do oh yes amazing so when i lose 10 pounds (laughs) <laughs> She's looking at me. It's going to open up all the possibilities when you don't have to like suck in and zip up your skirt. Right. I'm you like, know? oh, God, lay down on the bed. and Like, oh, remember that? And like Beyonce says, if you never lay down to zip your jeans, yeah. you don't feel me. No. You don't know. You, <laughs> have know. Not, you don't know what no. it's like. But um, all right. So what else do you, uh, any other tips that you have for, for wellness that you're um, living I, with? I guess the big thing as always is to move. Because right now it's winter time, so you and have a tendency. Wants to move. Yeah. yeah, nobody wants to do anything. Me, I'm so what I culprit. what I encourage people to do now <laughs> is just do like little spurts. So sometimes I'll do it by my bedside. Sometimes I'll do it in the bathroom. It's like 10, 15 minutes of like jumping jacks, stretching, um, mountain climbers. I'll just make up a little routine before mm-hmm. I jump in the shower. Wow, that's a good that's idea. A good idea. That you, is a good and, tip. And you end up your day doing yeah. the same thing. And if you're at work, try and just get up and take the stairs, walk yeah. around some, you know, visit that's other the one people thing in I the do. office. Like I'll, if you're in I'll the try office. to take the stairs, or like I'll instead of picking up the phone and calling Michael, I'll walk mm-hmm. back there. Mm-hmm. Like just get up and move for a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And but if you're, I was gonna say, and if you're not in your office and you're working remotely still, there are so many good apps out there that you can go on and look up and just do some exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and people should really follow you on your social because you give these great tips. And just sometimes you just need a pep talk, just a little motivational, and you're always smiling. Yes. You know, with your beautiful red lips, Mm -hmm. and you're like, hey, (laughs) hey, you know, fit what it was fit, fit fam. fam hey fit, fit fam. fam get out there and do it and sometimes you just need a pep talk you're just like okay here we go we're gonna do it um but can we also talk about here's a pep talk for me a little mm. celebrity mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what got me excited today yeah i love celebrity you're not I gonna think, like it okay what well i don't think you're just gonna you're not gonna vibe with it as much um madonna what madonna's madonna. coming to new york city why Madison do you say that vibe I, do you, would you? I've seen. Madonna. I would love to Shut see up. Madonna Let's first go. of all. <gasps> uh, what was that movie? That She's, she, who's um, that girl? Who's that girl? Thank you. Yeah, the tiger. That's the totally tiger. you. Was that you? <laughs> I think that was you. And that I can see the blonde, short yes. blonde hair, yes. and the, the like. Oi, the New York. Yeah. The New York loved accent. It. I, I can totally it. see you. So mm. where is she going to be? Uh, Madison Square Garden. Only two. A tri- it said the Tri City, so mm. maybe somewhere else. Uh, but she's only doing the Tri City. So Madison Square Garden and someplace else, and it's like in August. Mm. And um, she came. I've seen Madonna four times. Oh my in god! Concert. That's incredible. I the first time I saw her, I flew to Houston, and because um, I was living in Texas, and I saw her 
uh, what was the Blonde Ambition tour oh, opening wow. night oh was amazing. Gosh. Yeah, still have the t-shirt. Still That's have the t-shirt. Yes. Um, it's a vintage. It's vintage. I got it. I was there 15 and then I've seen her. Th- but then the last time she came, she was doing that. She's gotten weird. That's why I, I think she went like through it. a spurt. She I don't might be still going through. No, I don't she's know. like evolving. Is she? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because she came she through a few years ago. And she was doing her weird act. And I was like, I'm still going to go see it. Yeah. I still try to get the lottery. I yeah. was like, you know, I don't know what she's going through, but I'm, I'm there for Madonna. she's queen. I mean, she come is. on. She paved the way. Yes. For, I mean, I would see Lady Gaga's videos back in when she first started and made my head explode. Right. Well, I'm like, mm-hmm. this is literally express yourself. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Exact same. Things come back around. And they do. She was repeating her style. Which is fine as long as you give credit. Like, I don't know. I was like, she's literally just ripping it off. And then acting like it was hers. I don't know. I'm, I'm a huge Gaga fan. I know. And now Michael I am too. Such I know. A huge Gaga I know. No, no, no. But now I am. And Lady Gaga came into her own. But in the very beginning, yes, when she, she first was came totally out, it was very like different. a mini like, Madonna. Yeah. And she wasn't like Madonna was like, that's me. That That's my aunt. And she was not admitting to it. Mm-hmm. And it was making me crazy. No, Lady Gaga's her own right now. Yes, she's, she's amazing. amazing. Love her. I would love and to see Queen, Madonna. And, and by the way, I think they're fine now. And there's room for, like you said, next generation mm-hmm. of Queen. Um, which is wonderful, but like even Britney and all those girls, like Madonna paved the way for them. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I remember the first time I was at my family's house. My aunt heard the song "Like a Virgin," and their everyone's head exploded. Oh yeah, my mom. <laughs> I remember. Like, Don't listen to this song. Everyone was like, yeah. <laughs> "Absolutely not." Yeah, absolutely. Come not. Come on, she's so, amazing. Yeah, she did. She uh, she paved a lot of ground. So I, I mean, she's amazing. Trailblazer. Um, can we talk about Kanye getting married? What's this all about? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. Did you hear? What is happening? Well, first he of all, married his it's employee? Be, is yay. Oh, yeah. Let's go back. Yay. yay. Right. Um, yeah, the, it's the architect of his apparel line or something. Uh, why all of a sudden? Uh, all of a sudden? No one knows. Well, yes. I was going to say, one of the topics on our podcast that's going to be, I think it's the next one that's going to be coming out mm-hmm. in two weeks, is we're talking about mental health. <laughs> Yeah. No, it is. No, no it is. Yes. It's that's, true. That yes. was it's one a of the real things thing. that we discussed. I mean, you know, he's going through his different changes. Yeah. You know, why is no one out there really making sure he gets the treatment that right. he's getting? And, you know, he's sort of becoming like the lo- the laughing stock. Well, it's I true. wonder, though, if he's allowing allowing for the treatment that he should be getting. You know well, what I'm saying? Most people with mental health don't, right? Right. right. That's so what my point is. He's is a in lot denial of people. when people bring it up. It's hard, right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. mental health is such a difficult thing because people can appear to be functioning. Mm-hmm. And some of them are actually functioning, and that's why you need to tune into the Fit Doc. Yes, yes. good job. Us too. I think you're talking about. They're talking about yay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Lisa Marie Presley passed oh, away. That was so, so sad. sad. Yeah. And, and sudden, right? It was right after the Golden Globe. Yeah. She was there. Yeah. yeah. And it was it was so sad. It was sad. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff. And you know what? It's so weird. Like I got my Us Weekly to read on the train, mm-hmm. and it makes me so annoyed because you know you know who's on the cover of my Us Weekly? Oh, all the celebrities in Princess Diana. Oh, stop Still, it. they're like the stop. real story. I'm like, can we oh. let that poor woman just R.I.P. You're still using her to sell magazines. Mm-hmm. It's so annoying. Mm-hmm. I'm like, really? That's the best we've got? Oh, you know what? I saw a great, uh, I watched CBS. I'm like, you know how I'm getting, <laughs> I'm totally getting old. Uh, CBS Sunday morning, the news okay. on CBS. Okay. Mm-hmm. I love this news because it, it's like old school news stories that gets in like 60 minutes and CBS yes, news. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. You can actually get a real story and had Pam Anderson on there. Oh. And she's got a new documentary out on mm-hmm. Netflix and it's from her perspective and what was the first one? Was it Tommy's? Well, they had Pam and Tommy, like yeah. the movie, and she was mm-hmm. like, I'm not going to let everybody else just roll my story. Now I'm right. going to tell oh, my wow. own story. She was, she lives in Vancouver, Canada. She's Canadian, I guess. She was so articulate and vulnerable and transparent and all of these things. I was super, I've never been a big Did Pam you watch in. it? Uh, no, I just watched the interview. Oh, okay. Uh, on, on CBS News, but I will. I'm going to watch yeah. it because um, she she was really honest and mm-hmm. again, vulnerable and evolving and all those mm-hmm. things. And I was, I was really impressed with wow. her. Wow. I was like, oh, who knew? She yeah. was, and she was sharp. And I don't think you give, you and know. you didn't think that's well, what you think is Baywatch. <laughs> I didn't you know. know. <laughs> that's all I know is you see Pam Baywatch, and Tommy. Baywatch, bikini. Yeah, exactly. Well, you saw her go, she goes through that that craziness with mm-hmm. Tommy and she was so like, you know, plastic. They had their own like spinoff show and all well, this Well, like, and think wildness. about that. That was the first sex tape ever distributed. Right. Mm-hmm. And it was stolen mm-hmm. from their safe. It, well, was, it was their like the first, from their honeymoon. Yeah. Yes. And then there was nothing they could do about it. Right. It was literally stolen 
and stolen property and then someone just used it to sell and I, I can't even imagine what that would be like talk about violation yes like that's just i know mm -hmm. so uh it's interesting how when you, you know see things older and you look back and you're like oh my gosh i that's it not is, what i right? expected exactly. and sometimes we're so to your point mm -hmm. so quick to judge mm -hmm. you know so quick to look at people and think oh i know everything about them right. or right. and you have no idea and you yeah. have no idea i know so um so what do you say about that what, what do people do try and put things in perspective and mm -hmm. just think that to be careful with what you say to people yeah mm -hmm. because you never realize like what you're saying how it can hurt them and they might not express it right now but later on down the line they might yeah because mm -hmm. um, i could even use as example um gosh at the end of 2022 i was like i only want 2023 to come in if it's going to be way better than 2022 um, because if you realize my mom was in and out of the hospital and rehab and that was from February 2nd, which was the 20th anniversary of my practice, which we still have not celebrated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, despite what was going on, I put on my game phase. I worked. My staff knew what I was going through. But unless you were a close friend, you had no idea mm -hmm. what I was going through, handling, making sure that she was, you know, being properly cared for in the hospital and rehab. And then on top of that, when she was getting ready to get discharged, she got COVID. My dad got COVID. It was the week of my son's graduation. Right, right. So really think about your words and your choice of words and your actions because sometimes we internalize how we feel. And I didn't think it was necessary for people to know what I was going through. But, you know, I took a lot of tea yeah. from other people yeah. when I was going through it. And we're still going through things, but... You know, I have my job. I feel that I'm placed on the earth to do a certain job and a certain purpose. And whatever is going on in somebody else's life, I'm trying to make sure that that doesn't change how I feel about my life and about caring for others. Yeah. That is so good. Is I love it. it. You know, and that is a great theme. I don't think I, I don't know that I have a word for this year, but, um, you know, I'd probably say like, you know, positivity, remaining mm -hmm. positive. And trying to, like you said, seeing the bright side of things mm -hmm. and and trying to not get, like, you know, fly off the handle when someone cuts you off, <laughs> you know, or That's whatever. Right. And it's hard. There's all those TikToks when you're like, oh, you know, it's so positive. And then you're like, ah, yelling at somebody immediately. <laughs> um, but it's true. And and just we've been talking about positive energy in the universe. Yeah. And it's so great to have people like you on to help us do that. Because right. otherwise we could get on this podcast probably in spiral. Oh, into, my gosh. But um, but there's so much there's so much uh, wonderful um, things to be grateful for on mm -hmm. Long Island. I mean, the weather is amazing. Mm -hmm. I would really like a snow day. Just gonna say, it's like it's gonna happen. For the winter. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, girl. Everybody in Arizona, they're having record-breaking snow. Like mm. Arizona is shut down because wow. they're in it's northern Arizona. There? Yes, what? the ski, like they're shut down. They have so huh. much snow, and in I'm like, Phoenix? No, not in Phoenix. In oh. Flagstaff, it's just two hours north of Phoenix, though. <laughs> and I'm like, here we are. I'm like, I'm hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I know, it's hot. So I could use a snow day, but uh, but loving this winter, loving the tea with mm -hmm. our good friend Dr. Michelle yes. Reed, loving yes. your new podcast, yes. Thank the you. Fit Doc Podcast on YouTube, on Spotify, and um, and your partnership with the Long Island Nets. Yes, and my partnership with Discover Long with Island. With Discover yes. Long Island, thank you. We're the OG. I will say OG. we're the OG. <laughs> um, but we just love having you and Scott and Jacinta here, and thank you so much for all you do for us and. Um, it's the fourth time. You're going to be like our Saturday Night Live. You're going to come back. It's good. You're like, <laughs> you're like our Steve, you're our our Steve Martin. Yeah. You're our Steve Martin. You're going to come back all the time, right? Yeah, you still owe me Pilates. I do. Oh, no, bar. bar. I know. So I was thinking that and already. Gurneys. And gurneys. <laughs> no, but bar, we need to do bar. And uh, we need to celebrate your practices 20th 20 year. I just locked that That's in the thing. So cheers yes. to you and to 20 years of success. Yes. And to all the wonderful um, help and wellness that you bring to Long Island. Thank you, Dr. Reed. And we'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to Long Island Tea Podcast, produced by Discover Long Island, the region's official tourism promotion agency. Links and information on today's episode can be found in the episode notes below. Listen and subscribe to Long Island Tea on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. Or you can watch us on YouTube at Discover Long Island NY. Thank you to Long Island Wine Country for sponsoring our Wine of the Week. Visit their website at liwines.com. 
For exclusive access to contests, giveaways, and events, be sure to follow us at Long Island Tea Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. To collab with us, ask questions, or just say hi, email us at spillthetea at discoverlongisland.com. Visit longislandteapodcast.com for more.